Amanda need, wants a refrigerator slash needs a refrigerator but her coffee creamer and her grandma's in a room. So, uh, dad had a refrigerator got at the auction. We're going to give her. But it's going to be too big for the little area for now. So I had this one that I had got from Jed a long time ago. That I used to have in the garage for a while. But then now, I'm so I'm going to let her use it. It is a 110, 12 volt and 24 volt fridge. That I had thought about using. It's from like a boat or a camper. Probably from a boat. It came out across on our building. But I thought about using it for or a pontoon. I thought about using it for a camper at some point. So I'm going to clean it up right now. I got sprayed down with some super clean. I haven't used it in a few years. And I'll clean it and plug it in and make sure it works. Before I give it to her. Kitty Kitty is very wondering about the air compressor with the air hose leaking there. What's going on with it? I go to the lumber yard and get some shelf brackets because I don't know about the Malacca lumber yard. I've never been there. So at Cook's Hardware, Malacca, I think it was Forest and Forest. It's in between Forest and Malacca. So I'm going to just go to the Royalton one and get some shelf brackets and some paint tray liners. Uh, we might do some painting today too. So I'm on the way to Amanda's grandma's to do some hang some shelves, rearrange her room I guess, she wants to move some stuff around and make more room for her office stuff, and, and then when, when Emma comes so that Emma can have the air bed down, and she wants to do some other rearranging, and then I want to do some painting, so we'll see what gets done. It's 8.30 uh, in the morning right now, been up for about an hour and a half, got the car loaded, had breakfast, did some devotional readings. Here's some rusty gold here. Oh, by this old shed. That's not much of a shed anymore. Oh, a bunch of shingles. Shingles, ramware, kittle. Let's go see what it's over there. Oh. No, it's like a planter. Oh, what the other jar say? Oh, there's still that ice down there. One slot, this slot. Oh, this is a light bulb. Light, light socket, yep. And then a planter thing. Oh, there's probably something we can throw them. Kittle, two of them right there, or just one of them. Yeah. This one here. This one. Seen better days. Does a cool look. Ooh, I'm taking that home. You don't find them anymore. International Harvester Antifreeze. Oh. That's exciting. It is. That's been there more than 14 years. Hold that. At least I got steel toes. I don't, I don't have... Old watering cup from the barn right here looks like still attached to the post.
That's a watering dish cup from the barn. And on the post for the cows drink. Oh. Or the horses. Yeah, cool. There's a tire, some tin. Same thing, I think. That's the key pile over there. We got a antifreeze jug, a Z Cool, and then we got an International Harvester antifreeze jug. Now more a kittle. I don't know what we're doing with that. Probably just leaving it. That weird, weird jug thing over there looks kind of interesting. That pail. Yeah, I'm curious There's like some more junk over there. We're gonna go look. We're gonna check our bonfire. Make sure that's going okay. You want that jug? I'm going to have to come back for it. It a bit more. From this side, it looks pretty intact. Yeah, when it warms up, we could dig more here and see what's in here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Found a premium antifreeze international harvester can. Some cooling system Z-Cook can. I don't know what you're talking about. It ain't my Some fault. sort of a this little uh, a bottle here and seeing what it says on there. And two old uh, windows. My block windows. We got the walls painted in her room here. Put her desk here where the dresser was. I painted all the walls. And got her a little refrigerator. Now she feels right at home. She's got a new coffee pot, and she'll tell you right about a coffee pot from the bathroom. Yep, coffee pot's awesome. Is it? I like it. There's right. so many more sizes you can do now. Instead of like six, now there's like 12. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll let you go back to the bathroom. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us? Yeah. Okay, we gotta take a look at this barn door for Amanda's grandma. It keeps coming open with her rake by it. Doesn't have anything in the barn but lawnmower. So let's see what's what's keeping it from coming open. I got my little paint tool set. <laughs> manly. Manly manly tool set. It's a man this tool set, but let's see what's going on with the door to keep it coming over. Probably because the breeze blows right through it and comes right through the barn. Oh, it doesn't look like much in here. A few hay bales, a lot of pallets for some reason. Uh, Toro push lawnmower. So yeah, we'll take a look at this. A lot of wire, manure. Got the barn door fixed, got it screwed up there. Screwed the two halves together so you can just open the single side right here to go in for now. So that's done. Amanda wants to trim all these trees up around the barn here. And there's some up around the house too. She wants to cut that tree down by the milk house door just so she can go and see what's inside of there. <laughs> 